there, it's Linda here. Thanks for joining me today as I play with these gorgeous goodies for Mudra stamps. I'm using their beautiful floral abstract stencil with this glimmer paste from Nuvo. It's in Moonstone, the colour, and I'll be using that, as you can see, straight up across some black cardstock. So taping down my stencil to my cardstock and then using a palette knife or a spatula to get a nice even coverage of the glimmer paste. Spreading it down, making sure I cover all the detailed sections of this beautiful stencil. And then I'm very carefully removing my tape and lifting up the stencil so as not to disturb any of the glimmer paste and then I'll give it time to carefully dry. So while it's set aside to dry I've got a piece of white cardstock. I've taped the stencil down to it again and I'm creating the second layer of my card and I'm using as you can see the distress inks listed and this will be the layer underneath the black glimmer pasted layer and it's a card I'm creating for the spotlight technique challenge which is the August challenge over at the Mudra blog and I'm calling this my spotlight technique with a twist and the twist being that it's a continuing pattern in my spotlight created of course using the beautiful stencil you see here. So just continuing on with the three colours of Distress Ink, completely covering a piece that I know will be bigger than my card front and that way I'll be able to join up the two patterns without too much drama. So here you see me just cutting out my little spotlight pieces, they are the circle dies and I'm just laying down three different sized circles and there you can see I've cut the, the three spotlights and I'll be able to lay that over my distress inked piece and make sure it all lines up the pattern and then just going around it in pencil so I'll know where to cut that piece. Now I want my glimmer pasted layer to be backed with craft foam so I've chosen black and I'm just cutting out the little uh, spotlight windows and then I'll be able to adhere that with liquid adhesive all glued up and then attached over the top of my distress inked pattern making sure it all lines up for that continuous pattern. Then it's just a matter of quickly adding my sentiment using the fabulous Purely Sentiment labelled stamp set from Mudra and backing these little sentiments with some black craft foam again and adhering them into the place where I want them. Adding a few of the beautiful Mudra sequins in candy pink and neon green and my card is complete.